ora koutou. I'm Jo Hendy, Chief Executive at the Ahe Pōarangi Climate Change Commission. With the um, upcoming climate conference, COP, at um, Glasgow coming up next week, you may have heard a lot of talk around NDCs or what's known as nationally determined con contributions. So a number of people may have heard about these but not understand what they are precisely or why they're important. So this is a quick one-on-one -on, -one on why they're important, what they are, and really designed for anyone who's interested or affected by the talks that are happening in Glasgow next week. And really, that's pretty much everyone. So the Nationally Determined Contributions, NDCs, were created out of um, COP21, which happened was the conference that happened in Paris in 2015. The Paris Agreement set up the NDC framework where countries are supposed to put forward what domestically they are feasibly able to do in terms of curbing and cutting their emissions. So currently, when we add up all the different countries' NDCs, they do not put us on a pathway to limiting increases in global temperatures to 1.5 degrees C. Our current trajectory with what has been put forward so far is hitting about 3 degrees temperature rise during this century. So the Paris Agreement anticipated that when people put forth what they thought they were able to do um, for each country, we added them up, that they wouldn't necessarily hit the goals that we needed to hit. So Paris designed it a, a ratcheting mechanism, which meant that every five years, countries are supposed to come back with more demanding nationally determined contributions. So as we learn more, as time progresses, as technology changes, um, as the um, public will um, to, to take on changes that will reduce emissions rises, then countries could uh, produce more um, stringent NDCs. The first ratcheting period um, was due uh, 30th of July. However, 70 countries, inc including Aotearoa, did not put forward revised NDCs. As we head into COP26 in Scotland, all countries are urged to um, put in revised NDCs that are more stringent so we can get um, closer to our 1.5 degree goal. So this means that COP26 is a big deal because it's the world's chance to actually limit warming to 1.5 degrees. In terms of what the NDC means for back at home, there are two, two ways that we will meet the NDC. One is through what is called our emissions reduction plan and that's essentially what we can do onshore um, at home in, in New Zealand. And, but that's not the only part of our NDC. The other part of our NDC is what we can do offshore in terms of paying for emissions reductions overseas to help other countries reduce emissions. And those two pieces, what we can do at, onshore at home and what we can contribute to offshore, will make up our NDC. Because in the end, while our emissions reduction plan at home is about what we think is feasible to achieve, our NDC is about what we think we should be, be taking responsibility for to um, help support global efforts towards 1.5 degrees. So our NDC, when acted on, is going to have impacts on our communities, on our businesses, industries, households, children and grandchildren. The most important thing with the NDC is not actually the commitment, it's the action that we take to meet the commitment. And this is action by all of us.